hi guys hi guys and uh, welcome to another video in this video I'm going to quickly uh, give you a demonstration of using the chart IQ website where you can uh, make use of the uh, native Renko charts this is a free version for those of you who find it expensive to pay the, uh, the, the fees for trading view which gives you access to the intraday Renko charts as well so chart IQ is a pretty old company I would say it's been around since the time trading view started maybe even longer than trading view um, the only reason that they didn't catch on that quickly was probably they were not too good at marketing but as for the rest in terms of data you can see that uh, they get the data from X ignite which is quite a reputable company so uh, in in terms of uh, the functionality as well the uh, chart IQ guys are quite good and uh, I find it interesting that uh, they offer the uh, charting tool for free the charting tool is called technician app you can go to technicianapp.com you can sign up for an account or you can just use the um, free version but if you want to save your settings your charts and stuff I would advise you to create a, a, an account um, they don't spam you um, I've, I've, I've had a, had an account with them for quite a long time and um, I can definitely vouch for the fact that uh, <coughs> chart IQ is quite a quite a decent company now once you once you're logged in or once you access the charting interface this is what you look at as you can see you've got uh, two main sections display and studies when you click on display you can select the chart style besides uh, Besides the Renko, you've also got the line break, range bars, point and figure, and a couple of uh, other options that you might want to use. So let's click on Renko. And here you have the Renko chart that's right here. You can click on the settings button and you can enter a fixed box size. Or you just leave it blank and click hit auto select. And it does it based on the uh, ATR value. Now, uh, if you're wondering what ATR, um, it's basically the time frame that you have here. So right now, the value would be based on a 15-minute, uh, 14-period ATR. But I would like to switch back to a fixed Renko box. So here we go. And I would select uh, maybe a 3-minute chart. Um, it's going to be data intensive so for the for the purpose of uh, this demonstration I'm going to switch back to the 15 minute chart so it's a lot more smoother okay so now um, let's get back to the studies option you've got a wide list of indicators that you can use some of them are really unique um, for example I have no idea what Shinohara intensity ratio means, but uh, they have it. Super trend seems to be an indicator that's uh, quite interesting. Um, gives you pretty good uh, buy and sell signals, although this was a fake. But this looks quite interesting. Um, maybe I will change the, I will lower the uh, box size for Euro USD to. Uh, 15 and uh, let's add uh, a moving average again you can do a lot of combinations Okay, this is quite interesting. Probably I will explore this, uh, this setup in a bit more detail and maybe share my findings with you. So anyway, as you can see, you've got, the, uh, got some interesting set of indicators that you can use. Um, the, the very good part is it's not just limited to Forex. You can also have stocks, FX, index, funds, and futures. Um, let's try some unique, uh, unique instruments. Um, first, let's look at uh, maybe... AIG uh, 
Okay, let's look at uh, some American stocks. I will select the Renko to auto select. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> you can click this bar for the data. Let's take a look at uh, index. This is the Nikkei. Um, let's look at uh, Nifty. Okay, here you go. Nifty 50. Um, the Renko chart is based on uh, auto select, so let's see what uh, what this can do. Okay, it's taking quite a bit of time to load the data. Um, okay, here we go. So this is the uh, Renko chart for the Nifty 50. You've got the 50 period exponential moving average and the super trend indicator. Um, based on the uh, daily time frame. So let's do some drawings. Click on the pencil icon, draw, and uh, you have a new toolbar that's opened here. Click on the magnet, so you have the drawing snapping to the open or the close. Um, let's start with uh, Fibonacci. So here you have the FIB indicator. <clears throat> you click on the pencil mode again and it disappears. As you can see on the screen, you can right click to delete. And you have the settings. That can be moved around. There are quite a few other interesting uh, drawings as well. This is the gun fan or the arc. Now you need to be a little bit careful when it comes to drawings because uh, despite the fact that um, Chart IQ and the Technician app is uh, free of cost, um, there are some, um, some minor issues in terms of the drawing that uh, make it not that good. But again, this is bear in mind that this is a free application, so you really have nothing to nothing to complain about. So this is the pitchfork tool, and that's how we do the drawings. Now you can also add a couple of comparisons. Let's um, add. Uh, The euro and the Indian rupee and let's see what uh, what this throws up so while the screen is loading um, focusing on the positives the uh, technician chart IQ app uh, first of all does not limit you on uh, the time frames or on the data so you can switch to a one minute chart um, or you can look at a, a weekly base chart for the Renko um, the markets are definitely not limited to just a couple of uh, couple of uh, uh, instruments. You can choose from forex, stocks, ETFs, um, funds, and uh, most of them can be global as well. Um, you don't have to uh, you don't have to pay for any fees. Um, it's basically free of cost. You don't even have to create an account. But if you want to save the charts and stuff, um, it is definitely advisable to uh, to do so.
Okay, um, in case you're wondering what I'm trying to do, I'm uh, trying to locate the US dollar index to overlay on the chart. Okay, this is weird because I thought I just saw the um, dollar index. <clears throat> anyway, let's see what happens when um, you can add the uh, add an overlay chart. I doubt that uh, this works on uh, the Renko charts, but it should work um, if you're switching to a regular candlestick chart or something like that. Yeah, there you can see you've got the uh, you, you can compare two different instruments and stuff uh, based on the regular traditional candlesticks. But um, considering that we're focusing on Renko, uh, there are some limitations. Um, so that's about it. Um, other features include uh, the option to share the charts. You can just take a URL and uh, share it and send it to your friends. You can also embed the charts directly or auto post them to stock tweets. Um, you can create an account and save your settings. You've got a couple of color customizations and stuff. So guys, this basically sums up the uh, review of uh, Chart IQ Renko Charts. Um, I hope you liked it. Do give it a try. It's definitely value for, uh, for being uh, free of cost. It has uh, quite a few features. So um, good luck and uh, feel free to comment and let me know your experiences or if you've discovered something new that I've missed. Thanks and have a good day.